Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please do check the description box below. There is a ton of information down there for you, personal reading information and just a lot of stuff. So please do go check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. Those are reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you for trusting me to read for you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys and your support. So thank you, thank you. Okay, the Sagittarius, second half of August. Hope everybody's doing well. And we're last month of summer already. If you can believe it. Don't know where time is going. So this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. See how this affects your reading. This is a general reading, so I will read it as a general reading. But if you can fit it into a love situation or a romantic situation or something like that, then you're more than welcome to do that. So if this, whatever comes out here does not resonate for you, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. And um, I would say the rest of the reading may resonate if you clicked on it. If something drew you to the title, then there's probably something in here for you. So let's see what we get for Sagittarius. What kind of energy could be around them the second half of August? Spirit, please. What kind of energy could some, I'm thinking that one, Sagittarians, what do we have here? Ear. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could either have ear in your chart or um, have somebody that is an ear sign around you. Ear is all about um, communication. It's about truth and honesty. It's about thoughts. It's everything to do um, with the brain, mental, you know, learning, ideas. Um, Vocalizing, communication, being truth and uh, truthful and honest. You know, cutting away things not serving you, that kind of energy. Standing up for yourself, not taking any BS kind of energy. And we do have ear is 25, which is a 7. And 7 is a number. It's a divine number. Uh, something that could be divinely guided for you. It's a spiritual number. Uh, 7 in tarot means... Um, I mean confusion, options, like having a daydreamy um, kind of energy. It can be def a defensive kind of energy. It can be um, kind of like a deceitful kind of energy in some way, whether it's self-deceit or somebody deceiving you around you. Um, and I'm missing one. Um, I think I got, oh, and it's uh, patiently waiting. You know, seven of pentacles energy and oh, I'm getting like very lightheaded so uh I don't know if there's something going on with some of you guys if you haven't if you're having some health problems or something like that wow that was really weird just got very very like lightheaded for some reason so uh I don't know if that means anybody anything to anybody but Maybe I was just going to say the Seven of Pentacles energy is an energy of like waiting, uh, like planting the seeds for something, but then like waiting for it to prosper and grow. So it's like patiently waiting. And as I was saying that, I got really light, light, lightheaded and dizzy. So maybe if some of you have been having health issues and been putting it off, putting it off and putting it off, then you might want to um, go see a doctor. <laughs> I don't know if that's a message for somebody, but I've never got lightheaded like that before. And I just ate dinner like a couple hours ago. So, all right. So let's see. Sagittarius sitting in the ear energy. Something with truth or communication or just standing up for yourself or cutting away things no longer serving you or maybe having ideas and thoughts, learning. I mean, it could be anything to do with the mind, communication. All right. So let's get one card for. Um, I was going to say Aquarius. <laughs> Maybe some of you have Aquarius in your chart. Um, Sagittarius. 
one card. What is their energy like the second half of August, Spirit? Please, can we have one card? Sagittarius, and they being stubborn. There we go. Temptation. Oh, this is the devil energy. Temptation. Oh, being tempted by something. It could be temptation, being tempted by something. It could be um, addiction, overcoming maybe addictions or something like that. Um, also could be negative thinking. It could be self-doubt, negative thinking, uh, low self-esteem, fear. It could be anything that relates to the shadow side of yourself, like things that are more on the negative side doesn't necessarily have to be like being possessed by the devil or anything like that that's not a lot of people that don't know tarot they think that's what um the devil means but it, it doesn't so if you're fighting uh addictions it could be anything it could be not necessarily substance abuse it can be anything gambling too much um anything playing video games too much or working too much or anything like that or it could be somebody around you who sort of has a negative energy that drags you down. And maybe there's a need for you here with the air energy to speak up for yourself. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have foundations and achievements. So I believe this is the four of wands. So this could have to do with your home. Um, this is your home or your family. And this is your foundation and your basis, or what was once your foundation with this devil energy, temptation, that's not a good energy. Um, I know that we have the Ace of Cups, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Oh, let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius? And or maybe your home life is not good right now with this um, devil energy. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on with you, Sagittarius. And the temptation devil is Capricorn. And over here we have wands, which is your energy, fire energy. All right. So why is Sagittarius in this energy? Why is Sagittarius in this energy? Second half of August, spirit, please. Why is Sagittarius? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. We got the devil again and the princess of cups. Now this is a water sign. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And now we have the devil again. Wow, Capricorn. I'm not getting a good energy with this. And maybe that's why I had that light-headed feeling. Um, well, I, I almost thought I was going to pass out. That's how like intense it was. And I've never gotten lightheaded like that doing a reading. But the Princess of Cups, I mean, this is um, about communication. Um, you know, it's like loving communication, something that comes from a, uh, a good heart space. But with the devil energy, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a good feeling with that. This could be somebody around you at one time that was like in a loving energy, but now they're not. I mean, we have the devil twice here. So, I mean, or you're not just feeling, you're not feeling your home life here. Once was maybe a loving situation, but now it's just very maybe toxic here. And maybe there's a need for you, for you here to speak up, say something, um, or do something about it with this air energy. I don't have my little book here, or, or I would read um, a little bit about here. Um, okay, so let's get more energy that is around you, Sagittarius. More energy for Sagittarius. Second half of August spirit, please. And now my throat's getting scratchy and wow. <coughs> yep, there's with that air energy. And needing to communicate, say something, do something here. And that could be the Princess of Cups energy here. Um, Page of Cups. That's all about communication. So, okay, what other energy do we have? Sagittarius. 
second half of August. Six of Pentacles. So this is Earth energy. So this is about balance. So balance and reciprocity, um, equal give and take, exchange. This is like the minor arcana of the Libra card, which is justice. All right, so let's see what else we have here. So we have the Prince of Pentacles. So now we have more messaging, more messages, uh, offers, very stable, grounded um, offers. They could be Page of Pentacles. Pentacles can be monetary, material. It can be education, uh, learning. Let's get another one here. Seven of Wands. So there's that seven here I had talked about, about being defensive. So there is... Uh, Balancing out of energies here, stable communication in some way, something that's uh, tangible, that's solid, but then there's defensiveness here. Hmm. I'm a little confused by this, so let's get a little more energy here. Ten of Cups, okay, water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, happy home and family life, or maybe once was a happy home and family life here and the Prince of Swords. So this is, you know, someone rushing in. Here's that air energy. Someone rushing in, telling truths. Um, they come in like very uh, disruptive, sometimes can cause havoc and trouble. They just like don't think before they speak or act. So, oh, let me try to figure this out here. So I think feel like there's some sort of toxic situation here um, it can be anybody it could be your home situation it could be a work situation or it could be a family member where it once was a firm foundation a loving place but now it's a lot of toxic energy and um, needing to find balance here needing to do the work to uh, become stable but being defensive so we have a lot of different energy here so you may be feeling defensive you know towards somebody um, they may be trying to come in saying oh I'm more stable now you know can we be friends again or whatever they really want to balance out the situation or you do vice versa however it works for you but somebody's defensive here and on guard it's either you or somebody you're dealing with And now we have the Ten of Cups. So, and then we have this Prince of Swords here who, um, Knight of Swords is just rushing in and just telling truths, telling it like it is, uh, standing up for themselves. People may not like it. So this is kind of like your advice. So I feel like you need, need to tell the truth or speak your mind something about something that once was happy for you that if you're not feeling that way anymore because we do have the devil energy here it's like the total opposite energy you need to speak up you need, need to say something cut away people places and things no longer serving you not taking any more bs from anyone or anything here and taking that action and doing that so you can either Get your Ten of Cups back within yourself, your peace and harmony and happiness back. Or speaking truths about something that once was happy for you and now it's not. Oh, so let's see what your possible outcome could be, the Five of Pentacles. So, so someone's going to be left out in the cold, whether it's you or somebody you're... Um, Earth energy here. So this is being, you know, abandoned, left out on the cold. Could speak of monetary lack. Um, so somebody is going to be cut out here. As with the Knight of Swords here, like rushes in with this sword and is like ready to cut somebody out. And now somebody is definitely here going to be left out in the cold. Because you see this Knight of Swords like rushing into this Ten of Cups, like just disrupting the whole thing the happiness, the home, the family, everything just being cut away and disrupted. And 
someone being left out in the cold, whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with. It could be could be a partner. It could be a family member that's got addictions that's really affecting you, and this is why it's in your energy. It could be you overcoming addition, addictions and cutting all that away, leaving it behind is with the Five of Pentacles anyway. Five of Pentacles energy to get your Ten of Cups energy back here. And maybe somebody you're dealing with is defensive towards you. This could go many different ways, so however um, it resonates for you. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is putting in the hard work and the dedication, effort, earth energy. So really, someone's really working hard here. Really working hard, putting in that effort. Three of Cups. So this can be about, you know, reunion, coming back together, celebrating, and that kind of energy. So, I mean, you could either be going out with friends and family and celebrating, or this could be a reunion with somebody. Three of Cups can also indicate, you know, drinking also, you know, celebrating. Judgment. So... Scorpio energy here. So this is, you know, final judgment call, making that final decision, maybe forgiving and moving on, or you can be forgiving and resurrecting something from the past. But something here needs a final judgment call, a final decision, making a final decision. Four of Pentacles. So holding on, again, with the Earth energy, holding on to your stability, holding on to what's rightfully yours. You know, it's an energy of holding on to what is yours, not letting it go. So I, I feel it as an energy as holding on and holding back from people. All right, so let's see what else we have here. The Three of Wands. So this is waiting. You know, this is just making plans and... Uh, going in a new direction and looking out to the distance and you see the direction you want to go in but right now you can't go in that direction so you're just kind of waiting fire energy here waiting for the right time waiting or seeing what he has in his hand here uh just you know waiting for your perfect time to set out on your new journey so now we have the four of swords here's the ear energy so this is you know something happen here and now somebody needs rest recuperation to retreat to heal to think and contemplate taking some time alone and now somebody's independent and stable they've done their hard work because you have the eight of pentacles um over here and now you have the nine of pentacles so put in that hard work and dedication and now being single and abundant and prosperous and can take care of yourself now on your own, standing on your own two feet. Four of Wands. So here's the Four of Wands again. So somehow you you have your stability back, um, your your foundation. Whether it's alone because it sits right under the Nine of Pentacles. So I mean, you could have moved because this does talk about home and family, celebrations. Um, foundations so and with this nine of pentacles energy is always a single independent energy who you know can take care of themselves they're making their money they're very independent and right under the four of wands can speak of a home so maybe you've just moved into a new home maybe you moved out on your own uh, maybe you left toxic situation here it was very defensive energy you know tried to balance out the scales to bring the ten of cups energy back but i mean this Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords could have been fights and arguments between, you know, it could be a family member, it could be just a marriage, it could be anything, even a work situation. And now here, leaving it and leaving it, leaving it out in the cold, abandoning it, and just making that final de decision as with the um, judgment card. Felt like something you really need to heal, to think about and heal from. But you could have your foundation back, and you could have moved with the Four of Wands energy. Yeah, so now we have the Three of Swords here, which is heartbreak, sorrow um, kind of energy, something that was very painful ending here with the Three of Swords energy. Let me put the camera down. 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Empress. So it could be Emperor or Empress, somebody who um, knows their self-value, their worth. They're very independent now. They're very abundant. It's all about growth, expansion, uh, just being very in your own power. And the Empress energy is Libra or Taurus. And now we have Taurus here with the Hierophant. So, I mean, this could have been a marriage here because the Hierophant is about marriage, commitment, uh, faith, spirituality, and those sorts of things, doing what's um, moral and just, self-value and worth, integrity. So this could have been a marriage here. But here's the new beginning, the big epiphany. Here's, you know, that communication that is needed with the air energy here because the sword's air energy. So big, big communication here, brand new start, brand new beginning, based on truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself. So, yep. Yeah, so I definitely feel like here, Sagittarius, you went through something toxic, whether it was a family member, um, a relationship, a job. You tried and you tried, you tried to balance out the scales, you know, you tried and tried, but then you got very defensive and then you just couldn't take it anymore. And, you know, and your advice is to tell the truth about your situation here in the Ten of Cups energy. So, I mean, the Ten of Cups is about the home and the family, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every way. And I really do feel like that needs to be reversed because that would be a very unhappy situation. But, um telling the truth about this Ten of Cups energy and then leaving something behind no longer serving you, leaving it out in the cold, abandoning it with the Five of Pentacles energy, concentrating on yourself, healing, mending, thinking, contemplating, making final judgment calls here. And it definitely, you know, it was painful, hurtful, but you got your stability, you're independent now, you're just single and abundant. <clears throat> and, uh, maybe a period of waiting before, still before you can go fully into the new uh, direction you want to go in. But all this energy is here. So let's see, hope this makes sense and it resonates for some of you. The devil twice, wow. That's some major toxic energy around you. Okay, so let's see, what do we have for advice guidance for you Sagittarius what do we have for advice and guidance for Sagittarius second half of August change wow <laughs> I can't make it up change the changes that you're going through are positive so exactly and I had just described all that that you were going into a better place here definitely and here's the change some major shifts and changes of a toxic situation here that you're deciding to cut away and leave behind that is no longer serving you. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if there's any more messages for Sagittarius, second half of August. Any other messages for Sagittarius, second half of August. Let's see if we got anything else. Family culture, learn more about your family's stories and history. And I did feel this could be a family relationship situation, and now we have family culture, but it's also, if you've been wanting to learn more about your ancestry or, or um, anything like that, then you know that could be a message for some. All right, anything else for Sagittarius? Second half of August. August. And we got two here. Worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. Rewarded and creative. Draw, paint, think, and act in creative ways. So, you know, while you're going through this transition, if you like to be creative, if you do like draw, paint, write, whatever here, um, this is telling you maybe this will help you on your journey in this change to um, get back into this creative energy. 
in whatever you are setting out. You have the three wands there of looking, looking out to the distance and patiently waiting to go on your new journey. Whatever it is here that you're patiently waiting to embark on, it's telling you that it's probably divinely guided here and it's worth waiting for, whatever that means for you. Now let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Healer, you have the power to help and heal others. So you may have that healing energy about you and maybe you don't even know it. Maybe it's just your, you know, enthusiastic energy, that fiery, passionate kind of energy that fire signs have. Um, sometimes a lot of them can be a healer and they don't even know it, whether it's through um, acts of kindness or you know, sense of humor or anything like that can sometimes really um, heal people. All right, Sagittarius. Well, that was your reading for the second half of August. I hope it made sense, resonated for you. If it did, please do leave a comment. I love to read the comments. And uh, please do, if you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, um, hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And I hope to see you next time. Wishing you the best of luck in your situation here. And sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.